Hey everybody, Technically Jeff here, and today I have a new level two EV charger to review for you guys from Dowlar. We'll check out the charging speeds and get a close up look at the J1772 connector, as well as the cable and charging controller itself. And I'll go over all its features and pricing with you guys too. So let's get to it. So we'll start with the unboxing. It comes in a box and within the box is this carrying case for the charger, which is nice since it's portable. We have this little box that has a hook to hang the cable and a mount for the J1772 connector. Then we have the main unit. And there's a manual and the hardware to mount it. This is a plug-in 32 amp charger with a NEMA 1450 plug. It looks good and is sealed well. Then we have the main controller here in line, which is good for a portable setup. On the back, we have a couple of mounting holes, some specs on the charger, info on what the different lights mean, and some warnings. Then we have the J1772 connector. It's a hard plastic that's fairly light and seems okay quality-wise. It has a cap which actually locks in with the normal J1772 release, which is nice. It fits really nice and tight and seals it really well. It's definitely the best J1772 connector cap that I've seen on any of the EV chargers I've tested. Then we have the cable here. It isn't too thick, but like I said, this is a 32 amp unit, so it's not gonna be quite as thick as the cables you find on a 40 amp or a 48 amp hardwired charger. It has six millimeter wiring, which is about 10 gauge, and I've seen many 32 amp chargers use this size, so it should be able to handle the load fine with no issues. It's also adjustable too, so you could reduce the amperage to 24 amps for peace of mind if you wanted. I'll get into the available amp settings in just a moment. First though, I'll go ahead and give you a quick look at the instructions here. It shows you the basic parts of the EVSC, what the lights and display icons mean, how to use its various functions, the technical specs of the charger, safety protection information, which is nice to see how that works, and some warnings. And that's everything. So overall looking pretty solid. Let's go plug it in and test it out. All right, I got it plugged in here. It was a nice solid fit in the NEMA 1450 outlet. I'll go through the settings with you. You long press to select things here. I'll go into the current switching. Here you can see options for 10 amps, 16 amps, 24 amps, and 32 amps. Then we have the charging appointment settings. Here you can set a delay timer if you have time of use charging. By the way, the flickering you see is just because of the camera's refresh rate. It's not like that in real life.
But yeah, it's pretty simple and easy to set up. We have a nice long 25 foot cable. Looking at it up close, you can see it has the six millimeter wiring I mentioned. Looking at the J1772 connector, it works as you would expect. Again, it's very light. I will say that combined with the hard plastic doesn't really convey high quality, but it seems fine and nothing feels loose or anything like that. Now let's plug it in. I always forget to unlock the car. <laughs> nice tight connection to the car there. And we are charging at seven and a half kilowatts, which is right around what I'd expect at 32 amps. And that would fill up a car like my EV6 from zero to 100% in about 10 hours. So it easily fills up most EVs overnight. The charging controller displays the charging time and the amount of energy delivered. It also shows the voltage, amperage, and temperature. It's pulling 31.8 amps on the 32 amp setting, which is good. And yeah, it seems like a solid unit. Good charging speeds, nice long cable, the connector works well. And it's portable, but it's also mountable, which is nice. The various amperage levels are good to have, and the interface to adjust the charging speeds and the scheduled charging is simple and easy to use. The connector and controller are both IP66 rated, so they can be used outside with no issues. And it has the various safety protections in place I showed you in the manual. One example that they highlight is the temperature protection where it'll reduce the current if it gets warm and it'll actually stop the charging if it gets too hot, so that's good. And the wiring itself is also UL certified too, which is important for EV chargers. So it checks a lot of the boxes for me that I'd wanna have in a simple portable EV charger, and it's pretty inexpensive. On their website, if you use promo code TechJeff, it's only $200, which is around what I'd expect to pay for a basic 16 amp EV charger, not a 32 amp adjustable portable EV charger with a mounting kit that also has a delay timer and a UL certified cable. So I think it's pretty good. But anyway, I'll post a link in the description for you guys if you wanna check it out. Let me know if you have any questions on it. Stay tuned for more reviews and giveaways too. I have a couple more EV chargers that I'll be testing out soon as well as many other items. So be sure to subscribe for those videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.